Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file. We are back again. I am a little bit out of sorts because I just came back from cooking and I legitimately like sat down like two seconds ago. Um, let's do a run as- oh we unlocked Blue Baby. When the hell did we unlock Blue Baby? Okay, let's play as Blue Baby, why not? I was like, what? Excuse me? Excuse me, Blue Baby? Where did you come from? But Blue Baby, he is pretty awesome with the setup we have as him. I've been having some weird PC issues. I won't say exactly specifically with my PC, but some weird issues recently. So, as those of you might know, I recently brought up the idea of me bringing back my cool Darkest Dungeon series, which is very much underway. Please get hyped. I, I demand, I demand hype, actually. <clears throat> I don't just ask of it. I demand hype. People, please get involved with the series. Please check out the first episode and future episodes, because I want this to be something that gets big on the channel. And last time, it I just didn't really have the sub base to sort of get it going to the degree that I'd want. So this time, hopefully we can bring in some more people. So please check it out when it's when it starts. But anyways, in the pursuit, ow. Uh, in the pursuit of, um, of this uh, Darkest Dungeon series, I've been, of course, playing Darkest Dungeon, getting used to it again, testing mods, because it is going to be a modded playthrough. Um, and um, I came across a rather huge, annoying issue in that, uh, unfortunately, the most recent, um, like, the last, like, basically six months worth of AMD drivers, graphics drivers for my graphics card, are just, like, completely broken if you try and play Darkest Dungeon 1. I've not had a problem with any other game, but for Darkest Dungeon 1 specifically, it's really fucked to the point where if you play the game, you're going to average around 30 FPS or lower. Um, you're often going to like drop to drops of like to, to lows of like 20, maybe 15 in certain areas. It's completely, I mean, it's not unplayable, but it's way subpar considering it normally runs at 144 frames, no problem. So to fix that issue, to remedy that problem, what I've had to do is I've had to downgrade my um, my graphics drivers specifically for when I'm playing. Um, this is probably a good purchase. Uh, Devil is decent enough, and Magus doesn't do too much for us, but I guess we can get out some poops. Something exactly super valuable. Uh, I, I, buy, I buy the sack as well, actually. Sacagawea. Right. Thank you. Um. Yeah, um, devil card will keep. Yeah, and so um, I've had to downgrade my graphics drivers specifically for when I play um, Darkest Dungeon 1. But see, now that seems annoying, but okay. But the bigger issue is that most of the other games that I use, like Isaac, uh, Elden Ring, uh, Call of Duty, all that sort of good stuff, all run much, much, much better on the latest drivers. They they run a lot worse on the newer drive, uh, on the uh, older drivers. So if I want to play Darkest Dungeon, I have to uninstall my current drivers and install the old drivers. And then whenever I want to switch back to playing newer games, I have to then switch back and reinstall the newest drivers. It's an absolute pain in the ass, And it doesn't look like it, uh, AMD are doing anything to fix it, uh, which is apparently it's nothing that the Darkest Dungeon team can do. It's, it's entirely on the uh, AMD team, and there hasn't been a fix for a solid, like, four months now um, from all the, the different various sources that I've seen. So it's probably unlikely that we're going to get one anytime soon. And it's, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a tragedy, I'll be honest. It's, it's very, very annoying. Uh, also, another thing I just want to quickly mention. Um, you might notice that I haven't been replying to comments over the past, like, week. You probably have seen that I replied recently, because I'm going to reply to them after all these videos. Just so people will have a full understanding of how I do my comments, I used to just reply to them on the day as they come, and I still do when I get the notifications sometimes, but for the most part, what I'll do is I'll set aside, like, an, maybe two hours one day a week and reply to every single comment from that week in one day. It just is it's a bit of an easier way for me to sort of organize it all in my head um, rather than checking up and replying to them every single day. I do try to do that when I can, but honestly, just between my job, social life, recording videos, it's, it's, it's a bit hectic, but I also don't want to 
sort of stop replying to comments because I really enjoy reading your comments and I value them all a lot. So do not stop commenting at all. If you see that I haven't replied in a week, even if it's more than a week, do not worry. I will get to it. I will. If I, if I haven't replied to you in over two weeks, there's probably another reason why. <laughs> um, but for the most part, most people I will just reply to straight away because uh, most people are deserving of said reply. Um, but yeah, so just just so people are aware of how that goes down, because um, some people I've seen a few people say that, oh, you're not reading comments anymore. I am, and also another thing to just just be uh, be aware of. Normally, I read the comments as they come in. I get the notifications on my phone. I read them as I come in. So even if I don't reply to your comments straight away, there's a good chance that I read it within the day that you've commented it. Even if I don't reply for another four or five days, that's just unfortunately how I've got to do things in this setup. Um, like I said, there's probably better ways to manage it, but either way. So I just wanted to make sure, make that, like, clear that up for people because some people might be a bit confused on why their comments are being ignored or seemingly ignored. They're not. Don't worry. I see them. I see them. I love them. Um, and I'm actually going to do a bit of a reply a palooza after this video. Um, I've got a few more Darkest Dungeon bits to test, but then um, I'm going to do a reply a palooza and just... Reply to the past. I think it's eight days of comments that I've got to reply to now, which is going to take me like an hour and a half, two hours um, to reply to them all. But I do enjoy doing it, so I don't mind. I'm sure there'll come a time where it's un it's not feasible anymore for me to, re for me to reply to absolutely everything, uh, in which case I'll have to sort of refine my system. But right now, this is how I choose to do things, and it's it's reasonable. But anyways, um, while we're on the topic of comments, as for the question of the day today, what's something that you've ordered that's just been shit? What's something that you've ordered that's been a disappointment? Because, unfortunately, my girlfriend ordered a spice rack, because I have a lot of different various spices and things. Um, and so my girlfriend ordered a spice rack uh, to organise them all, and it turned up today. And not only is it like really low quality and hard to put together but on top of that it's a wall mounted one but it didn't specify that it was a wall mounted one anywhere uh yeah i guess i thought that was card reading i wanted card reading so i'm happy with that lovely and i'm gonna grab that as well good 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 i'm gonna use this I regret it heavily. <laughs> oh god, I lost a lot of damage and some tears. That was pretty devastating. But we'll get more. We'll get more. D8s come and D8s go. Ooh, interesting champion type here. Not seen this champion type before. Not seen you before, good sir. Ooh, Soul Hearts rather lovely there. I'm trying to pop all these poops here. Don't know what that is. Lemonhead. Okay, nice. Lemonhead's pretty good. Gives us some fi that fire right back. I will check the Devil Deal because they are only one heart now. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's Sin Robes. Yep. Lovely. And I think that's nine lives? In which case I should take it? Yes, it is. Good, good. Okay, that was perfect. That was very worthwhile. Good, 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 good. Okay, we regained a lot of the damage and fire rate that we lost from the D8. I will still take another D8 if I get given one, though. I will, I will. Um, Straight to the item room, I think. Slick Spade is pretty decent here. Get different card types when we fire sometimes that do various different things. It can reward us heavily. It can do not much. We shall see. We shall see. Hey, look, it's a carrot. A goofy little carrot. Love you, carrot. <laughs> oh, but yeah, it's it's really it's always really disappointing when you order something and it just it's just not what you expected or it just doesn't work properly. It's just such a shame. And yeah, really needed a spice rack, so we're gonna have to order a new one now because yeah, that one was just unfortunately dookie, big dookie. I've been uh, on a on a bender of uh, going to the gym recently. I've been telling you guys, I think I have. I don't actually remember. Um, that, like, in the new year, I wanted to lose a bit of weight and stuff. I mean, as does everyone, pretty much. But, um, I was <clears throat> teetering on the on the edge of 15 and a half stone, which is 
way heavier than I want to be. Um, it's not like a ridiculous weight, but it's just a lot heavier than I'd like to be. Um, especially considering I'm only like 5'8". It's pretty pretty heavy for my height. Um, so I wanted to sort of get that down to like sort of 13 stones. I need to lose quite a lot, but I, I'm, I'm doing decently on my journey so far. Uh, I've been weighing myself once a week. In a, in a week, I lost like four pounds in the first week, and then tomorrow is my next weigh-in day, so I'm going to see how I did. But I'm thinking I did pretty well. Because I, I just feel a lot better in myself. But I think that's just because I've not been eating shit food. You just feel so much worse when you eat crap foods. So I'm thinking it might just be a uh, sort of leftover from, from that. I just feel better because I'm not eating crap. Uh, which is certainly plausible. Uh, we're going to go and head back this way. We'll quickly check up on this as well. Nightlight is not great. I'll, I'll be honest. But honestly, it's cheap. So I'll buy it. Um... Yeah, uh, we've already seen that item room. What am I going back for? Stupido, stupido. Yeah, um, I've been basically going to the gym every day and... Ooh, I love this boss. Uh, I've been going to the gym every day and um, doing like 50 minutes, 55 minute walk um, on the treadmill. Just like a, a, a like really steep incline walk. That's like the, the fastest way you can possibly lose weight. So that's what I've been going for, and it's, 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 I actually quite enjoy it. I watched um, the the Wednesday Adams series on the treadmill, um, and then I've now I'm now rewatching the Good Place on the treadmill, and it's just kind of nice to like have an hour to myself where I can just watch a TV show and not worry about stuff. Of course, you are sweating and like panting and stuff like that, but I don't know. You get kind of used to it. It's not like a it it, it kind of seems like it'd be a big thing, but. I don't know, I, I seem to have pretty decent stamina when it comes to, um, pretty good item. I seem to have pretty decent stamina when it comes to, um, walking, so it's not really that big of a deal for me. Uh, I don't, I don't find it too stressful or anything, so I've been doing that, and yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that I can, uh, keep it up for a, a reasonably significant amount of time. Um, let's take the yellow pill. Hmm, not ideal. Telepills is an interesting one. I mean, it's kind of good to know that there is telepills because, um, last 12, interesting. It's kind of good to know that there is telepills because I might be able to, uh, utilize that. We'll, uh, crack this open as well. We'll grab that. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Um, because we might be able to get into an error room if we, uh, reuse those at the end of our floor. Yeah, our little poops are getting in the way and helping us. Can you stop? Thank you, sir. Got you as well. I love the, the, the dip rework with this guy. It, it adds a lot of fun to the character. Ooh, also, we have a little bit of an issue here. We know that there's a... Um, we know that there's a boss trap room that we can get into, but we don't have a way to get into it. What the hell? Oh, God. Yeah, don't let these guys hatch. Hatch? Is, is hatch really the right word? It's not really a hatching motion, is it? Stop spewing out shithead kids. I don't want to take care of your children. This ain't no daycare, boy. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we got my bombs now. We can go back. I don't know what's going to come out of you, but again, don't care for it. Okay, good, good, good. Oh my god. Stop reforming, you fools. Right, let me quickly go back and uh, go into the secret room here. Right, um, I do, I do want to quickly just nerd out a little bit about the Darkest Dungeon series because it's just, it's just good. It's just really good, and I really hope people watch it and enjoy it because, ooh, that's actually pretty decent. Uh, because I am gonna enjoy it thoroughly, and it's one of those series where I kind of need it to get a decent viewership to to keep it going. Because it's going to have a lot of viewer interaction. Basically, I'm going to bring on people, viewers, anyone that wants to as writers that are going to, like, write diary entries for the characters and give them... Uh, also, like, write backstories for some of the characters and stuff. And there's going to be, like, relationships that form, friendships that form, all sorts of stuff between these characters. And it's really going to be a very involved sort of thing where I get to work with you guys to create a narrative for our characters. Along with this, the fact that Darkest Dungeon is a very hard game and kind of the whole point of having this narrative is it's kind of hard to keep everyone alive. 
And so I'm going to have to um, worry about trying to keep the characters that you guys write alive. Uh, because once they're dead, they're dead forever. So essentially, you guys are going to write a character into existence. And then I've got to be in charge of making sure I don't kill it. Which really raises the stakes. Uh, last time we did this, um, I I had a lot of characters that I, I, I kind of fell in love with. That had some really, really good writing. Uh, some people just came up with some amazing backstories. And then on top of that, um, the characters got developed so well over time where... I got to the, it got to the point with many of the characters where I, I wouldn't even refer to them anymore by their class name. I'd refer to them by the name that they were given by uh, the writers, even like outside of playing, um, outside of playing Darkest Dungeon, outside of like, I'd be like talking about the Highwayman class, for example, um, and I'd be calling them by their names and oh god, it was, it, I really enjoyed it. It really was a fun time. Um, and so I'm hoping we can build something similar again there's already there's already a lot of the uh people from the old series that are uh getting involved and up for doing some writing but i really hope we can find some new talent and some new people that, that want to uh take part because i think it could be a lot of fun and like i said it's a sort, sort of a community thing and darkest dungeon is just a great game anyways uh for, for anyone that wants sort of a, an idea of what the series will be like for one you can go back and watch my old series that would be a good idea but also there's a youtuber that i'm a big fan of called christopher odd that i actually originally got the idea of sort of the diary entries and stuff from um who, where he basically has this same idea where you the viewers write stories and diary entries for people um and his was so good that i i wanted to do my own I will fully admit that it was um, an idea that I took from him, but his is a really good series. I'd definitely go and check it out if you want a better understanding and a better idea of of exactly what sort of the workings of this might be and how it's going to play out, because I guess oh, we need to be really careful we don't get farted into uh, the wrong stuff here. There you go. Stop reviving, goddammit. Um... Yeah, I, and it's just it, it's just one of those things that I think could be a ton of fun, and I really hope as many people are up for it as I hope they are. I've heard a, a good amount of people have said, um, hey, that's a bunch of damage, only a little bit of fire rate lost. I think I'm going to stick with this. Um, yeah, I saw that a few people in the comments said that they'd definitely be down for bringing it back, and some people that haven't even seen the Darkest Dungeon series before, or even the game itself that would be down to check it out. Um... And just I, one thing that I really like about it and I really hope we can like cultivate again is just the ability for some, some people out there are just really, really talented writers and really, really talented people. Um, and it gives those people an opportunity to not only get involved with the channel um, and have me read their writing, but just show off what they can do. And like I said, some of it's dead impressive. So I'm excited to see some more of that. Oh God, these bloody bitches reviving. Stop. I don't know if we're going to make boss rush here, I'll be honest. And honestly, our health might not even really allow for it. Okay, good, good, good. Ooh, he generated a tinted rock. Thank you. Ah, you bastard. You e You evil fuck. You evil fucker. Not only did you generate a tinted rock that didn't contain any soul hearts... But you bombed me too. Oh god, I'm getting uh, way more than I should be. Holy heck. Oh. Please remove this boss from the game. This boss is such fucking horse shit. I swear, every single time I gulped. What the hell? Every single time I fight that boss, my opinion on it degrades further and further. It just, ugh, it's just gross. <laughs> I apologize to whoever created it. It's not your fault. God damn. It pains me. You are firing way too many burns off. Calm down. Did get a penny out of that guy. Right. We got enough damage to be killing some of these enemies really, really fast. 
Please don't tell me I have to kill every single morsel of burn here. I I think I do. Okay, these guys have become reality. There's another D8. I actually think we stick with what we have. We got so much damage out of that before. Blank bombs or health? Blank bombs are pretty good. We have made use of them before, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give them a go. I'll give the blank bombs a try. Good. good. Oh my god, that was so close to me fucking that up. But yeah, enough gushing about Darkest Dungeon. It's just a really good game in general. He's a broken heart at the start of each floor. Unfortunately, I don't think there's really any ways for us to get broken hearts right now. By the way, I haven't really been paying attention to if we've unlocked any characters in the last few episodes. If anyone saw anything, let me know. Just remember, I have a bit of a backlog, so I won't see it straight away. Probably just gonna... Actually, no, we've already been to the item room. I'm probably just gonna go, um, like, call it quits and try and miss Boss Rush. Or not, not try and miss it on purpose, but accept that I'm gonna miss it. But I'll give this a go, I guess. This is, unfortunately, a very horrible room. Not like that. Um, neither of those are worth grabbing, unfortunately. Right, we have like under two minutes to get to Mum and Beta to do Boss Rush, so it's pretty unlikely. Um, that's a very, very good item. With blank bombs, it makes sense to grab as many bombs as we can. Yeah, 1835, it's not looking super likely, is it? Of course, we could have skipped straight to the boss in this first room here, but not a big fan of that. Oh god, this is a pain. And yeah, the dream is dead. We went the wrong way here. We got a minute... A minute to go. I say, unless it was right here, it's unlikely. And honestly, our HP is just tragic, so probably not the best idea, anyways. I need to go. Oh, did you leave that behind a golden chest? Though I like that. I'm gonna guess it's through here. It's not even through here. Okay. True fuck up right here. Just accept defeat. Not great. I will I will grab one of these and see what we get. I was gonna say if we got another key back and open the other one, but we didn't. Yeah, spit behind the curve here. What trinket is that? Is that a trinket? It's not a trinket. Bomb shopkeepers will drop red hearts and rarely burn hearts. Oh, no, it is a trinket. We have a dice room there we should probably check out. We do have a spin down shard there. D20 effect re-rolling all pickups. Ah, oh, we still got some good stuff there, but that... And maybe I should have thrown a bomb in there to get the spin down shard. That would have been a better idea. Still, I'm pretty happy it tends to a soul heart. That's pretty nice. Right, let's do some donating on this floor. Oh, there's more. There's more. Nice. Yeah, we can do quite a lot of donating here. Uh, also, that's pretty good. Steam sale doesn't actually matter here, so... I'm not even going to bother. Get us up to 300. Is there an lockout 300? There is not. I think next one's 500, maybe. Ooh, glass D6. I will take. Might not come into use for a little bit, but I like it. We do have quite a lot of damage. It's kind of unbelievable. Oh, God. 
Secret room potential. Oh, bugger. I kind of forgot about blank bombs there. Yeah, sadly, we just missed the mark by about a minute here. It's not a crazy, crazy late one, but eh. if you miss the mark, you miss the mark. There isn't much we can do about it without specific interactions that we don't currently have on hand. Lovely. And we got the negative. Unlocks the Devil's Door. Okay, by the way, that little Unlocks the Devil's Door thing um, is a note that I asked to... Uh, I, I asked for from um, the person that created the Devil Keys mod. Do you know how when you bomb, the sa bomb Satan, you can get keys for Red Hearts from Satan that only open the Mega Satan door on his floor? Well, I, I brought it up with the developer that, hey... There's an issue if you teleport to the dark room via a sacrifice room, you only get the angel keys, you don't get the devil keys. Um, and we were trying to figure out a, a good solution for that. I might die in here. Um, we are trying to figure out a good solution for that, and turns out the best solution is to make it so that you can use angel keys on the devil, on the, the Mega Satan door in the dark room only if you teleported there via... Um, via the sacrifice room, and also to make sure you don't take the wrong path accidentally. Um, I'm going to check this out. Yeah, to make sure you don't take the wrong path accidentally, make it so that on the description of the Polaroid and negative, it will tell you which one you're supposed to go to, and it also it'll highlight... Oh, we're going to be forever yellow. Do, 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 do. Forever. Forever. God damn. Um, yeah, also, say, for example, you grab an angel key before you get to the mum's foot fight. Once you get to the mum's foot fight, it will highlight the Polaroid to tell you which path you should be going on. And if you are, have a devil key already, like half a devil key or even the full one, it will highlight the negative, like it'll have an outline around it to basically say, hey, you're, you're, you've picked up the key for this path. Reminder, go this path. Which I really, really appreciate. It's a really good idea by the developer. Annoying, because I could have skipped this whole floor and skipped having a yellow screen, but... hey her. It is what it is. It is what it is. Oh god, Infestation 2 is just so good. Especially with this much damage, each spider does 40 damage each. Look at that. Crazy damage. Um, I didn't mean to use the tower. How do I use bombs properly? There is a way that you can use bombs when you have blank bombs. You can use them normally. I don't remember at all how to do it, so we're going to have to, unfortunately, skip that. Good. We've got so many spiders as well at this point that most rooms can clear themselves. Good. We're able to put multiple poops down pair of room here as well, which is just extra flies. Good, good. Seems like we're on the right direction here. Ow! A cheeky enemy. I don't know if we're going to be able to do Megas... Uh, not Megas... And, um, the lamb here, just based on our current HP, but... Well, damn right, give it a go. In fact... Isn't this our first hush kill? Oh, God. I didn't think about that. Oh, balls. Chaboy did not think about that one. Right. This is our first hush kill. But that doesn't have anything in it yet. Right. I need to go and collect keys. Because I need seven keys. Well, n at least six, seven if possible. I'm going to try and do Hush. It's it's a very dumb idea. What other 
cards do we have? That's just another dice. So many dice. Sadly, we can't hold more than one right now. Okay. Right. Away we go then. We got five keys. That's enough. Not the greatest, but it's enough. This is going to be a very risky hush kill. Because we can only get hit once. But I believe. I believe in a thing called love. I think I'm going to have to go to the shop in case I can buy something. Hey, thank you. 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 A lot of unlocks. Wow. Oh, wait. Does this get us into one of the rooms for free? It does. Awesome. Um... Right, knockout drops is good here. I think Ouija board is good for the fire rate. Check this out. So that's a very good item there, but it requires us to get. Uh, I'm gonna just try something here. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I didn't really want to bomb my donation machine here, but for a good cause. Blank card? Interesting. Did not use my D6, so I'm just going to use it. Monstrous Tooth. Don't really care for Monstrous Tooth, but thank you. Soul Heart and two keys. More money. Right. Will this stack? It does. Oh, yes. Okay. Slightly better position than we were before. But only slightly. I do not like the very piss yellow floor that we've got going on in this room here. It's not nice. It's very hard to see what's going on. It's actually extremely hard to see what's going on, at least on my screen, because I've got things brightened up. On the recording, it might it's a bit darker, so it won't be as bad. But for me, it's very dark right now. I wish I had a card to go with this. Maybe it was a card at the shop I could have bought. Right, so nightlight is going to be an issue. Because for one, with the lighting currently, I cannot see where nightlight's pointing, but it's going to be slowing down some, some shots and not others, which is a huge issue. As you can probably already tell. What the hell happened then? Oh, okay. Apparently, the shots kind of phase through him. We have to wait until he sits back up. Weird. One thing that we need to be very aware of is we have blanks. They can take care of a lot of our words here. We only have 25, though. That's not an awful lot. But like this, it doesn't clear out all of the tears, but it clears out a good bunch. So if we ever think it looks like we're going to get hit, we're going to be getting hit, then we use that. And now's a good time. That's going to be a really key ingredient in the potential ability to succeed here. Really key. I still think there's a very good chance we die. Um, just because there's other attacks that you can do that I can't counter like that. Like these buggers here. Okay. We got him low on health already, which is good. But he's not started the evil attacks yet. There's a few really evil attacks he can do. I do have the hush fix mod, which does help. I don't know where we got this little dude from. Like, literally, where the hell did you come from, Charger? 
I have absolutely no idea. Oh, dude, I, I've, I've just understood something that's very cool. We have the Milk of Baphomet, which is on hit, trigger a random uh, on hit effect. And I think my Blank Bombs trigger on hit effects. That's where we got the Charger from. That's where, That's why we have Dead Dove. That's a really cool little micro synergy we've got going on there. Okay, now this is, this is the real shit. Yeah, it's triggering on hit effects. How cool. Okay, we did it. First hush kill was not one I was expecting to win. But oh boy, did we win it. And I think that unfortunately is the end of the run because it's our first hush kill. On hush kills after this point, we can do more. But on this one, it's just the hush kill. But there's one of three. One of three. Fate's reward. The void is unlocked. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was a lot of fun. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.